Story time. Look at this. Look at this. We got we got Christmas lights up. We're get we're getting festive here on Frosty Fricks three days before Christmas. That's what we do. We wait to the last moment, just like when we shop. I'm not here to talk to you guys about my horrible planning capabilities. I'm here to tell you a funny story about when I was much younger and stupid. Yep, it's a story time. So, once upon a time ago, I was at Anime North. Now, for those of you who don't know Anime North, Anime North is a convention that's held, held up in Toronto every year, uh, and has been going very strong for at least 20 years at this point in time, and I have gone to 14 of those years. And we're talking early convention time, when it just, when it was, wasn't so big, and it was just a little bit smaller, and uh, every convention always has these awesome things like little panels and stuff to go to well it was the end of the convention so we were going to go to the closing ceremonies now the funny part about the closing ceremonies is just before it was a charity auction every year they always held a charity auction and i'd never been to one i've never been in an auction so i go to this charity auction and i'm with my friends i'm with my friend eric and a couple other people and we sit down at about a distance away from the actual like auction my situation is from where we were i couldn't exactly hear what was going on so i'm watching this woman uh she's all dressed up and she's holding the cd she's just like just displaying her cd here's the cd here's a cd but she's displaying the cd and i'm just picking up things i hear it go up to four and i'm like four dollars for a cd ain't so bad and i'm like okay and i'm hearing it going one on uh, four on a count of two, four on a count of three, I'm like, 450. Now, they're like, oh, okay. And everyone cheers because they like hearing the the bid bid war going on. Because now this guy turns to me and gives me that like look like, I'm going to beat you. And I'm like, okay. And he goes, five. And I'm like, 550. And he goes, 575. And I'm like, six. And at this point in time, it had occurred to me that well, this is getting pretty intense and there's a lot more ruckus coming on from the crowd than I would expect from bidding $6. I'm like, this is only $6, guys. Calm down. And the guy in front of me turns to me and looks at me and goes, do you know what you're bidding on? And I'm like, yeah, the CD. I'm bidding, bidding $6 on a CD. He goes, no. You're bidding $600 on the dress the woman is wearing with the CD. And I, I could not break face. I just get, it was a deer in the headlights stared at. And to this point in time, I'm now at six. And the guy in the front's going, six going once? And the, the other dude then stands up, the one I've been bidding against goes, what do you want with a dress? And then my only response that I could think of was, what do you want with a dress? And he goes, 625. And he's like foaming at the mouth. He's getting all angry at me. And just because I've already gone this far, I am now committed. I'm 650. And then the crowd's just getting crazy now because we're, we're bidding high money and apparently it's on a dress. I don't know what I'm gonna do with a dress. I can't even afford a 650 I just put up in an auction. Yes, that was a, this, this is now bad because the guy is starting to count down. He goes 650 going once, 650 going twice. And in my mind, all you could hear was this. <laughs> in the meantime, I am, I'm, I'm, I'm actually mentally freaking out because now I'm, I, I have pushed this thing up as high as I could possibly put it. It's at 650 and this guy is looking at his wallet because he is, he is, he's just, son of a bitch i'm go i'm going big money on this and you just and at that point in time another gentleman rings in he's over here there's another gentleman on this side of the actual auditorium and he goes 700 and everyone's like oh man they're everyone's like getting crazy now because we got 700 bones on a thing well this gentleman in front of me who has been bidding against me is now looking at him with a death glare and he goes eight nine 
1000 and this guy puts it all on a table and goes, $1,200. Boom, sold. $1,200 for a dress. And I believe the dress was being worn by some sort of J-pop idol, but no offense, much like America, there's so many of them, I can't keep track of them and I don't know the names. The auction closes out. I wish the embarrassment stopped there, but it didn't. So we're waiting for the next thing to happen which is the closing ceremonies now it took a little bit longer than expected because they have to get all the all the guests and whatnot into one spot and that, that takes time and that's understandable so they go up to the the podium and they go uh well we are still trying to uh, pick up time on this so to 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 maybe waste some time would anyone mind telling a joke or a little anecdote and at that point in time i'm in my i'm in my chair yeah I want to tell a joke and be hysterical. Now then, I'm a sadistic person in my own mind because I know what is about to happen is going to make someone mad or absolutely laugh at the situation. So they give me the mic and I'm, yeah, that's right. I just materialized this thing. So they give me the mic and they're like, okay, go ahead, go start your joke. And I get up and I start walking down the aisle and I'm like, you know what? This was an amazing auction that what just happened. So many people got to go home with the stuff they wanted and we helped so many other individuals because all the money that in this auction went straight to Children's Hospital up in Toronto and that's amazing. And I'm like, but the one thing I definitely wanna talk about is that last bid, $1,200, holy cow. All that money is going to the Children's Hospital in Toronto. How awesome is that? On top of the other items that were sold throughout the rest of the auction, I can only imagine how big that auction pot was. And I'm like, but I wanna tell you a story about the last bid. If you hadn't noticed and if you didn't turn around, you wouldn't have realized it. I was the other guy bidding at the beginning of the bid. And this guy, this guy who's in the front, who's the guy I was bidding against is just, yeah, yeah, you were. And I'm like, you. And I'm looking straight at him. And I'm like, I have to actually do this. Sir, I am so sorry. And he looked, he gives me this like, look like, what? What's he talking about? I'm like, I'm so sorry because when I came in, I'm bidding four, I'm bidding five, I'm bidding 556, and then I bid 650, and I could tell you were about to jump over these seats to kill me over a dress. And usually that happens only on Black Friday. Wait till you hear what I was bidding on. And the guy looks at me and goes, He's completely confused with the situation. And I'm like, would you believe I was bidding $6.50 on a CD she was holding? And the guy go goes, get the fuck out of town. Fuck you, man. What had happened was he would have won that had I not chimed in. And this dress would have belonged to him. Now that would have been okay and fine and dandy, but because I chimed in and upped the, up the price, that made the other collector interested because of the cost now. And he lost he lost the ability to buy a dress. I was super embarrassed, but you know what? You have to play off that embarrassment. So I told him the story in front of everybody else and then we all had a good laugh. But you know who wasn't laughing? The dude who just dropped $1,200 on a dress that I accidentally inflated. He wasn't too happy about that, but there was something positive that came out of it. Mind you, all the money that was gained through that auction went to Children's Hospital. So due to my screw up, due to my mistake, that was, I tripled the price of something that would have sold at $400 to $1,200 unintentionally. And all that money that was gained from that mess up of mine actually ended up going to a positive thing. All that money that that guy dropped on that dress was going to the Children's Hospital in Toronto. Isn't that cool? My screw up ended up turning out to be something positive. I'm an idiot. Why can't I do things right? Why can't I do things right? That's my problem. Is I, I like, this has been going on for a while. You know how I hugged a random stranger the other day. This is, a, this is another one of those situations where I could bid on a dress and feel good about myself after years and years. I had never actually publicly told the story to a whole bunch of other people. And I, I feel that it's a funny story that I wanted to share and I'm glad that I had. And if you don't believe me, I brought my friend Eric over, to, who was the Eric in the story, uh, who saw me bid on this dress, who laughed the whole time to confirm that I bid on a dress. 
I'm Jesse's friend Eric, and I'm confirmation that he bid on a dress. Now where's my 20 bucks? So there you have it, the truth is out. Frosted Fricks hugs random strangers and bids on dresses. But I figured I'd share this awesome story with you due to the fact that it is the holidays and I wanted to share at least one goofy thing with you guys. Uh, we are doing pretty okay with the schedules. Uh, we have been putting out videos every day, which has been doing pretty good. The only day that skipped was yesterday and I got caught up in a whole lot of other things, including having my friends over. And I, I seldom have friends over. So when I do, I kind of like just to get my attention on them other than everything else. But if you enjoyed this story, please put a comment in the comment section below. If you like this story, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Hit it twice if you can. But if you're new to the channel and you like what you've seen, please go ahead and give that subscribe button a little, little south paw if you wouldn't mind. But I thank you guys very much for watching. I thank you very much for following along. I hope you found this funny, interesting, and enlightening, knowing that Frosted Fricks bits on dresses. Happy holidays, folks. More videos coming out soon. See you then. See you next time. And until next time, stay frosty, my friends. And game on.